All right, so I just say my name. Yep. Um, I'm Georgia Somerset, the head camp director here at Camp Somerset. Uh, every year we have students come out here to the beautiful Indiana countryside to learn about each other and themselves. Camp Somerset began about 40 years ago when my mother decided to start an independent summer camp for students in the area. Since then, we've continued to provide an entertaining and informative summer experience for hundreds of children. As far as activities go, we have a large variety. We mainly focus on swimming, hiking, and blood sports. Excuse me? Do you not know what hiking is? I'm honestly shocked. No, blood sports? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you definitely said blood sports. I don't recall saying that. Well, anyway, I wanted to ask you about the allegations, the deaths. No one has ever died at Camp Somerset. In fact, no one has died ever. Wait, you mean in the history of the world? Yes. That's provably untrue. I don't care what's provable or not. No brutal murders have ever happened here at Camp Somerset, and none ever will happen, all right? Okay, jeez. Hi, I'm Jesse Polowski. I've been head counselor here at Camp Somerset for the past three years. Being a camp counselor is a big passion of mine, and it shows me how much I love the outdoors. I've been riding horses competitively, actually, since I was six years old. I know a lot about the natural world from that experience. With every broken bone, I gain a new appreciation for the power of nature. How many bones have you broken? 23, all at once. What are your thoughts on all the- No murders have taken place at Camp Somerset. The massive dip in total campers for the past year. Uh, <laughs> Freudian slip? There's nothing to think. There are no murders. No one has even died here. I mean, we've actually brought dying people here and they've been miraculously cured. All that bad press is just that. Bad press. Why do you think less people are coming to Camp Somerset? You ha you've had over 150 campers coming every summer 10 years ago, but last year you only had 25. Frankly, I think they, they can't handle it. They don't know about the ups and downs of being at a camp like Camp Somerset. They couldn't face the mosquitoes, the ticks, the bloodthirsty axe murderers, all of the hot days. They can't seem like how a summer camp, especially one like Camp Somerset, can uplift one's mind, body, and spirit. The bloodthirsty what? No comment. Hi, I'm Davis James, and I'm a counselor at Camp Somerset. I'm the archery instructor. I like sharp things. Um, how do you feel about the murders? Murders? I haven't heard of any murders. I think we're going to have a great summer. A really, really great summer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the best summer yet here at Camp Somerset. Summer is going to be especially great. What an amazing group we have here today. As always, I need to remind you of a few safety tips. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's just get this over with. Never swim without a buddy. Always have bandages and sunscreen on hand. Look out for mosquitoes, wasps, heads on pikes, and angry beehives. We don't want to repeat of last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Penny Johnson. This is my first year at Camp Somerset. I'm really excited to get to know my fellow counselors as well as the campers. Um, I don't really know that many people here yet, so right now I'm just trying to like watch and learn mostly. Um, the camp itself is kind of weird. Everyone seems like aggressive, like they're trying to hide something but like I feel like it's just like a clicky thing like I'm the new guy right the hell pit is kind of a mood killer though I uh, will say that what sorry yeah the hell pit it's this massive sinkhole that goes down to an unknowable depth um it's just blackness forever it leaks bad emotions as well as the occasional um like howls of the damned is what it sounds like um <laughs> I feel like they should fill it in. It feels like an insurance, like, disaster, but I, whatever. I'm just a counselor. All right, I think that's it. Anybody have any questions? Yes, Penny, was it? Um, where do the campers stay? Oh, great question. Right over there. Uh, wasn't it a bit bigger last year? 
Nope, it's always been the same size. That's what camp's all about, small spaces. All right, folks, let's get to work. Greetings, I'm Edward Hines, the most talented artist here at Camp Somerset. I'm so talented that my art teacher says that my art could one day be the Louvre. I've been working at the camp for the past two years, but it's not about the camp. It's about the networking with my peers. But I don't mind being here. Camp Somerset is the perfect place for my paintings. It's just so like natural and raw. Throughout my stay here, I've gifted the camp with some amazing works of art. I only hope that the camp can one day sell these paintings when I'm like big and famous. So that, cause I mean, come on, they're gonna be worth a fortune. My work this year at Camp Somerset will be the best it's ever been. It will be the most spectacular work that you or I have ever experienced. It will be very realistic. Hi, I'm Kaylee Rudolph and I'm one of the counselors at Camp Somerset. I'm the daughter of William Rudolph, the richest man in the county. Not gonna lie, I'm used to getting my way. That's why all my fellow counselors respect me so much. I know how to play the game. The main thing at Camp Somerset is control and discipline. They don't step out of line. They don't exercise free will. They conform. They listen to me. And that's why I make such a good counselor. They respect me and they listen to me. And we all love each other. Oh, the murders? I don't know. I don't know anyone who's gotten brutally stabbed, so I really don't care. Like, if it had been one of my campers, they wouldn't have died because I would have killed them first. Everybody knows you're not supposed to go out in the woods after dark. Well, we've got the first day over and done with. Thank God counselor training is over. It completely drains my creative extracts from flowing. Creative extract? Like the vanilla stuff? No. Well, fingers crossed we don't have another incident this year. Wait. Incident? Don't ask. It'll only scar you as much as it scarred us. Okay. You wanted to see me? Oh, Kaylee, sit down. So, what is this all about? One of your fellow counselors told me that you made them a bit uncomfortable last night. Excuse me? You don't know what I'm talking about. No idea. Uh, hello? Kaylee, what? You, you, the scourge of the land, flesh untwisted by the hands of time. You, the destroyer of worlds, yet untouched by the deathly sight of Thanatos. One day the fingers of death will grip your neck and your sins will burst out of you for all to see. I will see to it. I will be the body of death if I see it fit. And you, you will finally taste the iron of his sight, finally face the retribution that you so deserve. What the... I don't remember that happening. Well, you shouldn't be doing that. I didn't. Okay. Well, have a nice day. Thanks. Folks, I've run into town for a little bit to go get some supplies for the summer. If anyone sees any severed limbs, specifically toes, report them to Jessie immediately. Au revoir. Toes? What did she mean by that? Oh, toes, you know, the things you have on your feet. There's five of them. I know what toes are. Oh. I'm sure she was just joking. We'll do fine out here, all alone, with no way to call for help in the middle of the forest. Who wants to go on a hike? Edward, why are you not putting on your shoes? I think I'm gonna hang back this time. I have a very realistic painting to attend to. Alright, well, don't get up to too much trouble while we're gone. Of course not. Alright, folks, let's go!
came in here and we just found him dead. What are you gonna do? Who did this? Who cares? You have to get rid of the body. Are you crazy? What? I'm just being practical. Guys, stop arguing. Edward is dead and that means one of us is a murderer. A cold-blooded killer with a taste for human flesh. What do you mean? He wasn't even eaten. Semantics. Who could have done this? I'll bet it was you. What? Me? Yeah, what a coincidence that you got separated from the group. Care to explain? I would never do something like this. Look at your hand. I know this looks bad, but I found this in the woods, completely separate from all this. Tell it to the judge. Guys, let me out. This is for your own good. Either confess or starve. Jesus Christ, Davis, we're just gonna lock her in there for a few hours. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. She can hear us. Oh. Guys, I didn't kill anyone. I don't even have a motive. I thought Edward was pretty cool. We'll determine that for ourselves. Guys. Guys. We have to protect ourselves. Does anyone have any weapons? I got some. Davis, what's your problem? What, am I not allowed to like knives? Did someone delete the Second Amendment? Never mind. We need to hole up here until Miss Somerset gets back. She'll know what to do. She's dealt with this every summer since 92. But for now, we have to stay safe. Everyone go gather as much defense as they can. Aye, aye, Captain. Davis, shut up. Davis, why in the world do you have so many knives? I don't need to explain myself to you. Oh my god! What? Cheese and crackers, that's a demon! Let's get out of here! Alright, how do we get out of this one? I'm thinking knives. Hold on, if Penny's locked up downstairs, that means it couldn't have been her. She, that means she's innocent. We have to go save her before the demon goes and steals her soul. Let's go! Come on, let's get out of here! Oh, thank God. It's been 30 minutes. I thought I was gonna die of starvation. See, I was right. Come on, we gotta get out of here. The demon's coming. Demon? Since when is there a demon? Since just now. I saw it downstairs. We are downstairs. Let's just go. Hey guys. Ah! Where have you been? Getting weapons, just like you said. Okay, I guess. Wait a minute. I disappear at an inconvenient time and I get thrown in the brig over here. But she disappears and all of a sudden it's fine? Yeah, and? Uh, doesn't it seem a little bit hypocritical? Want to go back in the bathroom? No. Then keep your mouth shut. D oh. What is it now? All right. Three, two, one. Uh, hi, I have a package for Kaylee Rudolph. Oh, yeah, that's me. Okay, just sign here. Have a nice day. What was that about? I got a package. At a time like this, mail service doesn't wait around, you know. What was that? Since the demon's back, we gotta get out of here. <sighs> Thank God we got out of there. We were nearly decapitated. Wait, where, where's Kaylee? Gone again. Now do you believe that she's the killer? Eh, uh, I don't know. Davis, get down here, you're gonna get us killed. No way, Jose, you two are on your own. What do you mean? Call me Guac, cause I'm dipping. See ya. <sighs> it's just us now. We have to hold out for future generations. We have to tell them. Calm down, Socrates, it's not that deep. It is that deep, people are dying. Well, if we're gonna die, I at least have to know what the incident was. It was the most horrifying moment of my life. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was so young and foolish then. If only I had known. Don't go into a flashback. Just tell me. You're sure you want to know? Yes. Really? Yes, I asked, didn't I? Someone peed in the pool. That, that's it? But I had to clean it. I can still smell the pool water to this day. <sighs> I thought that it would be something like actually significant, but like what? Some kid just wet his shorts? The culprit was never found. They're still at large. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We're probably safe anyways. I have the perfect hiding place. Follow me. 
we doing down here? We've come to your final resting place. What? I was the killer the whole time. That's funny, because I was the killer the whole time, too. Wait, sorry. Wait, what? I should be asking you the same thing. No, I, you just don't seem the type. It's called subverting expectations. Learn about it. Aha! Oh, it looks like we already have weapons on each other. Davis, what are you doing here? I was gonna get the drop of two unsuspecting victims, but it looks like I was too late. You were suspecting. Wait, so you're a killer too? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. We're loner kid obsessed with hunting. Kind of typecast, to be honest. Oh, but this is a typecast. Edward! Edward? We thought you were dead! And that one-liner didn't even make sense. You all thought I was dead, didn't you? I brilliantly faked my death so that when no one was looking over their shoulders, I could jump out from the shadows and slit their throats. Genius. I know. Now who wants their throat slit? We're all the killers, numb nuts. Oh, there goes my true crime podcast episode. Wait a second, where's Kaylee? Here. Ah! <sighs> what the heck, man? Sorry. What's your deal, Kaylee? Oh, I'm possessed by an ancient demon. Watch this. We're plot to. We'll eat your souls. See? Totally weird, right? Yeah, totally weird. All right, everybody. Get your hands up. Did I miss something? You too. Two? We're all murderers. Oh, even you, Penny? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. You seem like a really good kid. We thought you were gone. What are you doing here? A twist, obviously. No one suspects the person who simply isn't there. Why exactly are you trying to kill us anyway? Eh, I don't like kids. You run a summer camp. Exactly. I'm taking revenge on constantly being excluded from friendships due to my superiority complex. Well, I'm acting out psychopathic tendencies that make me feel like an outsider in all situations. I'm pretentious. And I'm possessed. What? What's your motivation? Uh, yeah, motivation. Bad home life? Come on, man, come up with something a little better than that. Look, I don't like being put on the spot. Whatever. So no one actually died? Wait, I thought I got you. Nope, all according to plan. Wait, so if no one actually died, then what was the point of all this? And why are they still filming us? Well, this is awfully incriminating. We just admitted on camera that we killed people. This is like at least a week in prison. What are we gonna do about it? All right, well, you all know why you're here. Exactly six months ago, you all took part in a rather traumatic incident. By traumatic, you mean awesome? Can you elaborate on that, Mr. James? I got to make lifelong friends. I got to spend the best week of my life at an amazing summer camp. And I got to draw blood from a hapless cameraman. What more could a guy ask for? What Davis means to say is that we all went through an experience that none of us could have been prepared for. It changed us all for the worse. Despite our harrowing tale of survival, we all died that day. In by died, I do mean metaphorically, emotionally. That day, we as people- I think that's enough, Miss Johnson. So you all went through a very hard experience, but that's what we're here for. As your counselor, I'll do my best to help you through all these trying times. Wait a minute, Davis, what did you mean by awesome? People almost died. Everybody dies eventually. We just sped up the process. Davis, you're missing the point. Have you learned nothing? This is why no one loves you. Hey, I resent that. Of course you would resent that. You loner, you hack, you freak, you creep, you weirdo. Radiohead would write a song about you. Cool, I love Tom York. Come on, Edward, that was too far. Don't tell me that you were on the side of the freak. It makes sense. You were a little too quirky. What's that supposed to mean? You yeah, you, Edward, you, you are just a little bit. You always are. She's just a little bit. You are 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 just a little bit. Well, of course, you called a demon. She's a little bit. Okay, but it doesn't even matter.
Oh, my God. <laughs> 